the moon, hit your eye like a big pizza pie that's going ministries. Arrivederci! Hey friends, welcome back to Go On Ministries. Guys, today we got a fun one for you, sitting down with a new friend, Stephen, a.k.a. Fritz. Now, Stephen, you feel like, you know, we're new friends, but you feel like an old friend already. Yes. And I think that's something that the Holy Spirit does, and it's just, we're coming together in Christ. So. Amen. Yeah, so where are we at today, man? So we are at Manatee County Fair in Palmetto, Florida, and uh, it's my first time at this particular fair. I'm a member of the Florida Federation Affairs Association. Oh, okay. And I go to the convention every year. And this uh, board board members came together as a group and kind of uh, asked me a bunch of questions. <laughs> yep, yep, definitely. <laughs> and uh, I, w I guess they liked what they heard, and that's what they decided that they would have me at the fair this year. So How good. Isn't that neat how God put us together? So Fritz here, he has all these acts, and as we go through the video, you guys are going to see some of them. We're calling them acts, not personalities, <laughs> but at any rate, we're going to get into the testimony. So friends, on this channel, we're all about what God's doing here in even 2024, uh, but we're going to have to get into some of your history to pull out this testimony. Uh, but guys, there's, a, there's some light that comes out in these some of these dark fairs, and we're so excited. Uh, the Fritz is one of those bright lights. Pick up your feet! Stop dragging them! And subscribe to Go On Ministries! Man, let's get into your testimony a little bit and just let's give God some glory for that. Amen. Well, I was born and raised in Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. I, I, I went through a difficult time in my life and, and thought, wow, this is, this is awful. It, and I didn't know it at the time, but I was going through a little depression. Gotcha. I didn't know until many years later. And uh, I thought, I don't know if I'll ever laugh again. And I saw a guy riding a unicycle through my neighborhood. Yeah. And I just smiled and I thought, oh my gosh. And then I saw other people looking at this guy and smiling, thinking, man, that's what I want to do. I want to do something like that, you know? Yeah. And so uh, I asked my mom for a unicycle and that was the year she decided everyone was going to get what they wanted oh. for Christmas. And uh, I, got a, I got a unicycle for Christmas and I spent all day just riding back and forth yeah. in my basement and learned how to ride it uh, and within a year I was able to control it to where I wanted it to go rather, okay. <laughs> rather than it yeah. taking me for a ride but uh, uh, I, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed the attention yeah, I think yep. that, that's what it was and that's what it still is <laughs> Fair enough. I like the attention <laughs> Definitely bring a crowd, man, every time. And if you, and if the crowd's not looking at you, you're so good about bringing them in and just what joy you bring people. Well, I appreciate that. And, and, and that's, that's a, a big part of uh, when I do a, a show at a church, you know, I say, how many of you experience the spirit of joy? Yeah. And everyone raises their hand, you know, and I said, well, you know, the joy that you experienced while I was doing my show is fleeting. It's not going to last. It's not, you know, you might think of a couple things that I've done, you know, and, yeah. and laugh, but uh, there's a joy that, will never leave you and that's knowing Jesus Christ is your savior and so that's right. I, I get their attention with what the skills that the Lord's given me and then I pop them in the head with a question. <laughs> yeah. I moved I moved from Chicago to Florida for a job at a German restaurant called the Matterhorn Hofbrau House. It's no longer in existence. Okay. I was there for 10 years but uh, during that time uh, I my brother said you need to get right with Jesus and and I was like this is my brother telling me. I, I knew him from birth, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> this this I guy wasn't all that good of a guy either, you know. Yeah, yeah. And he said, well, you know, God's still working on, on me. And I said, well, uh, I knew I needed a Savior. In fact, I asked the Lord into my heart many times, mm. and nothing ever happened. But it was because he knew my heart. He knew uh. I was just asking to 
to see this big thing happen. I was expecting yeah. a lightning bolt, and I was like, yeah. oh, I knew it. It was nothing there, you know. And uh, but I'm sure, a lot that, of these guys can relate to that, and and we get prayer requests about that. I've I've asked the Lord, I've I prayed to Him, and not thinking about maybe where your heart's at at the time when you when you did that. Yeah, and and if if you mean it, God knows it, and if mm. you don't. God knows it. <laughs> yeah. That's what my pastor yeah. says. But uh, that night I meant it. I knew I needed a Savior. Oh, I was living life like there was no tomorrow. And I heard that, you know, you could ask Jesus into your heart on your deathbed. And, I mean, that was my plan. It's yeah. not a good plan, but <laughs> yeah. that was my plan. I, I knew yeah. I needed to do it, but I wanted to have my fun. Fair enough. And, yep. uh, and when I asked him into my heart that day, it was like this blanket of love just fell on top of me and wrapped around me. Jeez. And I felt this love I, I never felt before. And I knew I was changed. I was right. never going to be the same. Something drastic happened. And uh, that night I went in and told my wife, I love you. Mm -hmm. And she heard it differently than I ever said it before. And uh, I heard it differently than I ever said it before. And uh, within a week, she saw such a change in me. I mean, I stopped doing a lot of ugly stuff, including yeah. swearing. And uh, she saw such a change in me, she asked the Lord into her heart Come that on. week. Praise and so she was my first convert. <laughs> <laughs> that. Hallelujah. No, that's got to be so huge for these guys watching. Maybe you have a spouse or a friend or a neighbor who's not coming to the Lord, but allowing him to shine in your life, and they can't help but see it. I think that's so huge. And, it, and, and to think that you can change a family, you know, you, you come to the Lord, then your kids, and then it just go. And that's why we do what we do on the channel. You change the one, and then usually they follow after. How good is that? Well, there's, there's, there's nothing better. There really isn't. I mean, uh, I, I, we were talking, and it was like when, when, when you know that you're doing God's will, there, that's the sweet spot in life. You, yeah. just, you just can't. Yeah. You can't plan it. I can't plan doing fairs. I, I, I thought after I became a Christian that, well, I can't, I have to change doing what I'm doing. Gotcha. And, uh, but it's not true. He, he yeah. takes what you have, what he's given you, and you get to use it to glorify him, to point back to him. And, and I decided that when anyone ever gives me a compliment, I let them know it's not me. Amen. It's, it's, it's the yeah. Lord, you know. And no, people I imagine ask. your setup, because he comes by the booth and different character each time. And the joy on my face, I could just, I could imagine being in the crowd at that church, and with my cheeks still. And what did you say? I said my cheeks are in. in you and said, I said you're probably sitting wrong. <laughs> I've never heard that one before. <laughs> so my cheeks were hurting, and I could imagine. Then you just break through the ice, and you're like, that's only going to last a minute. But the, but the joy of the Lord. And I close a lot of videos with a benediction, you know, may the peace that surpasses all understanding mm. fall upon you. But that, but that joy that's everlasting, I mean, you got something that's just unmatched out there. You could do a lot of things with Tic Tacs. Hey, this is my this is my microphone, and I do interviews with folks Say, hey, what brings you to the fair? Is it the food? Is it the rides? Is it the entertainment? And usually, it's food. <laughs> that is quite a, it's quite a ministry. One of my favorite things is when someone says, why are you so happy? I say, it's, it's all the Lord, because, yeah. you know, this is a tough world, you know? And, and, and I get to do what I love to do for a living. Oh, I mean, that's a beautiful thing to, yeah. to get to do what you love. The rest of life is difficult yeah. enough, so you get to choose what you want to do for a living. So yeah. that's, you might as well do what you've been called to do. And no I feel doubt. I've been called to bring joy into people's lives. And Amen. it's a beautiful thing. So you were coming down from Chicago, and then you, and then you started this new, new job. And how did all this come into where you were still able to find gigs and still out riding the unicycle and the gondola? And uh, how did that transition take place? So the restaurant that I used to work at, uh, Hans Frischnick was the man's uh, name that uh -huh. uh, owned this restaurant. And uh, unfortunately, uh, there was a robbery at the place one night and um, a guy came in and 
said everybody get on the floor and nobody will get hurt. He was in a mask and had yeah. a had a gun that held, I think, something like 36 bullets. And um, he, uh, he was robbing the place. And I saw my boss go up to his uh, house. They lived in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. And uh, I knew he was going to get his guns, and uh, right. I don't know what what transpired at the when he approached the guy, but he ended up getting shot oh, in right. the elbow and in the heart, and uh, he died that night. And um, it was tough. It was tough to to be a part of that, to witness that with my wife there, pregnant with our first child. Jeez. And uh, it was um, pretty devastating. Just just. Uh, a, a real nightmare yeah and uh, I stayed there uh, f for five years afterward okay and uh, then I, I uh, left there uh, because they really felt it was time to the Lord wanted me to get out of that right that scene and to um, so I started doing uh, work for Bush Gardens and SeaWorld and Universal Studios gotcha. and Disney World and started my own entertainment business where I hired other performers to to perform because okay. I couldn't do them all. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then I, my my boss was always telling me, don't don't just do one thing, just find out a whole, a whole bunch of different things. And so I can uh, relate to that. And uh, and then this guy Barney Barnhart, who was my mentor, he he played the drums at the Matterhorn, and uh, he booked buses of people coming into the place on the slow nights. Okay. And uh, he said, hey, we need to come up with a name for your act. I was like, okay. And so I sat with him and he's kicking around a bunch of names and he says, how about Fritzy Brothers One Man Circus? I was like, Fritzy Brothers <laughs> One Man Circus. Fritzy Brothers, I said, it doesn't make sense. He goes, yeah, but you said it three times, at least they'll remember the name. Yeah. And so uh, <laughs> Fritzy Brothers One Man Circus how stuck. Good. And uh, I always was looking for something new and someone would come by and say, hey, do you know how to walk a tightrope and I was like no right and so he strung up a rope right in front of the place between two trees and taught me how to tightrope in about a, an hour and uh, learned how to tightrope so Hans strung up a tightrope and on the stage and oh, I put wait. in a little uh, tightroping act yeah so I was always developing something new and now I just have these 12 different characters that I do for fairs and <laughs> no doubt man <laughs> Folks, this is this is Charlie right here. Say hello to Charlie. And there's Charlie Horse. And I'm Clem. And I'm Clay. There's a little bit of good and bad in all of us, folks. Be more good than you are bad. It's always the flesh fighting against the spirit. Be good. And uh, it's just very enjoyable going to the convention and seeing other performers and uh, yeah. having the opportunity to to meet people like you, Charles. And, oh, definitely, man. Uh, and, and like you say, you know, um, we met each other and it was like we already knew each other. And yeah. it's not like that with, with all Christians. Right. You know, some people still very have that special. mask on or that, that wall that, that's built up, especially with guys, you know. Right, right, right. And so when you, when you come across someone that's like-minded, it's just a beautiful thing, and, so and the good. Holy Spirit does move in that. And yeah. you know, I, I feel very connected to you already. And so it's, uh, I, I know that I have a friend for life. Undoubtedly. Yes. No, I mean it's just been so encouraging to to watch you move, and you'll see a need, and you'll you'll jump on it and pray for folks. And uh, I always tell these guys in the videos down here in Florida specifically, we do some county fairs even in Washington State, uh, but there's a lot of kids on their worst behavior acting up and you know everyone's trying to be the class clown and you got the cops here doing their best to keep order and it's supposed to be a fun place and a family thing but it often ends up being a place for people to misbehave and so just thinking about some of your some of your ministry and some of the the things you've seen what would you say that these guys could be praying for in terms of not only your ministry but uh just just the fair scene in general well, we talked about it for a brief time at your booth, and uh, it's it's there's there's a, a separation between being in the 
in the, the food vending area and then going into the ride area, mm -hmm. there's a darkness that, that I feel. It's just, uh, I mean, you, you just feel that, that darkness. You feel that something's not right here. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's not me that feels that. That's the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit letting me know that yes, stuff is going on back there that I don't even want to know about. Yes, but sir. I can, I still can pray for the people that are out there and I, I still can bring some smiles out there. And, yeah. and, and some fairs don't even want the entertainers to go into that area. Gotcha. It's such a separation. And then there's some that they want to include that and so you have to kind of make sure that which fair you're at <laughs> right which ones Where want you, you to be back there and a lot of the food vendors are the ones that are paying the bill for the entertainer to be there and oh, so okay. so uh you have to do your best to follow uh, along the rules and yeah and, yeah but uh I you know, know with god there's no rules you can Amen. pray about anything Amen. at any time so yeah. I'm not convinced your gondola could get through some of those crowds, man. That would be that would be quite the quite the deal there. Uh, so we, you know, we get all these moments where we get to just kick back and get into each other's life a little bit, and we've already gotten very deep in uh, that connection. And I think you guys can think of those people in your own lives and think about those moments that you might have where it just connects immediately. Uh, but both of us are in agreement that it's the Holy Spirit, and so. That's so good. You know, I, I can't help but wonder if you have a little bit of words of encouragement for these guys. I know everybody watching is at a different place in their faith, but maybe there's something that God's been putting on your heart lately uh, that you'd want to get out to them. Well, I, I think the main thing is that, uh, and we were talking about this too, is that, uh, you know, a, a word of encouragement is just so powerful now. And it, it's almost like people are... Are, are wanting to be noticed just like I like I like that attention of being on a unicycle and, yeah. and saying, oh my gosh look at this guy yeah, yeah. and uh, every, everyone wants to have someone pay attention to them you know and 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 I used to be very prejudiced uh, uh, not only with the ethnic but even if someone had a big red blotch on their face or if someone's in a wheelchair or if someone's blind, I, yeah. I, I didn't know how to, how to react to that. And, gotcha. and God, would, God, God spoke to my heart one night and said, you need to treat everyone the same way. Mm. And so I, I said, I can't do that, but I know I can with you Amen. doing it in me. And so yeah. just, just giving a good word of encouragement and telling someone, you know, even even if it's as simple as saying, "Wow, your hair looks great," you know, yeah. or, or that's a, yeah. that's a nice looking outfit you have on, uh, or, or just just letting them know that uh, you know Jesus loves you. Just right. to, just to go up to someone and say that, you know, it's they they're recognizing that. Wow, someone recognized me, and yeah, you know, Jesus. I remember going up to this guy. He was he was drunk, Charles. <laughs> yeah. He was drunk, yep, and yep. he was just literally going across the grounds this way no, you know no. and and I said hey do you know Jesus loves you and he says me <laughs> I was yeah. like yeah Jesus loves you and he goes well I'm not that bad of a guy I said well Jesus loves you and he goes wow and, and I got to pray with this guy Amen. and he was drunk you know yeah. and it was just just to, just to just to do just to be ready to do what God asks you to do right that's a powerful thing to be able to Again, it's the sweet spot. You know, when you're doing God's work, it's just, there's nothing better than no, that. No, it's addicting. We talked about that a little bit. It's so addicting, and it's so good just to love on people. Amen. And to be loved on. You've been loving on us, so we appreciate that. Well, I appreciate yeah. you. And thanks off. for making my two signs for oh, my gondola. Oh, got a couple signs. <laughs> yep, yep. Got a couple signs. That's how we got started, so that was neat. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to finish off with a couple more acts for you guys so you get to see uh, different characters from this guy and so friends if you have any questions drop them in the comments i know that we'll get him to hop online later on after the video comes out and answer some of your guys' questions you're gonna have to come down to florida if you want to see some more of it 
Maybe where else do you, you've been up to? Uh, Virginia, and Virginia. I'll be in Massachusetts this year. Gotcha. Too, at a yep. Fair called the Big E. The Big so. E. Oh, you're going to Yep. I've heard of that one. So <laughs> definitely got some stuff coming out. Uh, but we'd love to have y'all ask any questions and we'll get to them. Don't forget, we like to pray for you guys. If you have anything that you want prayers for, drop them in the comments. We got a great team around us who so are going to pray with you guys as well. Uh, so that's it, guys. We're going to leave you with some with some more entertainment. And until the next video, guys, God bless, and we'll catch you then. This is the one and only Fritzical. Not only does it go forwards, it goes reverse too. Beep, beep, beep. And it pops wheelies, check it out. Look at this, I'm beside myself. <laughs> you want to ride? It's no free ride. You get on the handlebars, you have to pedal. You guys keep it together, because I'm trying to. hope you enjoyed that video and if it did anything for you make sure and let us know in the comments below and while you're down there go ahead and drop a prayer request we love praying for y'all and we get to each and every one of those and if you want to know more about our travels and adventures and the gear that helps us get up and go on follow us on our other channel go on overland we'll see you over there